There are a couple of people out there that get the creeps whenever they see a swamp or a marsh. There are several factors why these places are one of the last things you want to go to. Swamps are usually swarmed with bugs, and aside from their gloomy atmosphere, they've also been popularized by the media as the number one place you can dump a body in. Rivers, on the other hand, are filled with one of the scariest creatures on our planet. Let's check out several of the creepiest and most interesting discoveries in these bodies of water. From the mysterious Shiger Idol to the Eggfu Girl, here are 15 of the most terrifying things found in rivers and swamps. Number 15. Shiger Idol If you ever see a floating piece of wood in the swamp, you probably wouldn't think anything of it. The Shiger Idol, on the other hand, is different. It's a piece of wood carved like a totem pole with human faces, and it's pretty terrifying to look at. But I think the face's eerie appearance isn't really intentional. The Shiger Idol is considered to be a miracle. This nine-foot-tall totem pole is none other than the world's oldest wooden sculpture. Its preservation is pretty amazing because it's the only surviving wooden artifact from the Stone Age. This idol was found in a peat bog by gold miners on January 24, 1890. It was found 13 feet below the surface in the bog of Shigir, located near the village of Kirovograd, Russia. After examining the idol, radiocarbon dating indicated that the idol is more than 11,000 years old. It's pretty amazing that humans during the Stone Age managed to create an idol like this. It was created out of a tree that was at least 159 years old. And of course, they used stone tools to carve the features of the face as well as the markings on the pole. Even now, we still don't know the purpose of this totem, but according to researchers, there's a huge chance that the Shiger Idol was used to warn people not to enter a dangerous area. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Otter Okay, you're probably wondering if I'm talking about a different type of otter, but I'm actually talking about the one and only animal. You've probably seen river otters carrying their young while they're floating on the water. Many of us look at these creatures and immediately coo at their cuteness. But these guys aren't as cuddly as you might think. In fact, they're actually pretty evil. Otters inhabit almost every continent on Earth, and almost all of them are pretty evil. There are sea otters, and there are also river otters, and both are similar in their meanness. First off, these creatures have lethal mating rituals. Female otters are known to drown because of how aggressive male otters are during mating. Oh, and there are also some incidents where a male otter violated a baby seal, and they can also violate the dead bodies of female otters. Their evilness doesn't end there. They're not only mean to baby seals or fellow otters, but they're also menacing to humans. Some people manage to maintain a good relationship with some otters, but these guys aren't afraid to attack humans and other primates. Are you horrified by what you're hearing yet? Well, there's more. Male otters are known to hold baby otters hostage to force their mothers to give up some of their food. Okay, okay, despite all the evil doings they commit, otters are pretty cute, but just know that they're capable of doing some mean things. Aside from being cute, otters help a lot in balancing ecosystems. Unlike their freshwater-dwelling kin, sea otters are known to eat sea urchins, which consume a huge amount of kelp, which is helpful in taking in carbon dioxide. Number 13. Swamp Monster Imagine yourself exploring the wilderness when you suddenly see a humanoid creature that looks like it's made of… moss? This swamp monster isn't CGI. This is an actual humanoid figure created by the French artist and sculptor Sophie Prestigiacomo. Seeing this sculpture without knowing what it is is probably pretty surprising. Most people get taken aback upon seeing Sophie's art, but their fear quickly gets replaced by awe as soon as they realize that the swamp monster is a sculpture created out of seaweed, mud, and algae. These sculptures look like they might move any time. It is wonderfully created, and the art looks dynamic because of the very materials used to create it. Sophie's sculptures may change color as the seaweed and algae dry over time matching the environment where it's propped. Sophie often visits her creations in the Marsh Nature Reserve in Brittany. Pretty amazing, don't you think? You might be disturbed upon seeing them at first, but these half-vegetal and half-human sculptures will do nothing but observe as visitors immerse themselves in the reserve's landscape. Number 12. Alligator I don't know how true this is, 
but they say that it's better to assume that there's at least one alligator in every body of fresh water you see in Florida. I don't think this is too far-fetched because there are over 1.5 million gators in the state of Florida, and about 200,000 of them live in the Everglades. You heard that right. Apparently, more than 1 million gators reside in the marshes, lakes, canals, rivers, and swamps in Florida. This means for every 15 residents, there's one alligator. This video was taken in Everglades. You see a group fishing, and they're pretty close to the water. They're all concentrating on the small fish, and they fail to realize that a huge predatory reptile is just a few meters away from them. The good thing is that they quickly realized that there was an alligator chilling a few steps away from them, and all of them backed off in time. So do these American gators warrant any caution? Considering there have been 410 reported attacks since 1948? The answer is yes. It might be a small number, but don't take your chances. Florida is fascinating and diverse wildlife, and these creatures are the ones you need to watch out for. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, these creatures prefer to go after prey that they can easily overpower. This means that they're more likely to attack children and pets. They don't really think of people as food, though, but you can never tell if they're starved. Number 11. Swamp Dolls In 2014, the residents of Prattville and Otongaville, Alabama experienced an early Halloween spook when the Otonga County Sheriff's Office discovered 21 dolls from the Bear Creek Swamp. Dolls are creepy on their own, but they look creepier after being submerged underwater. What's more is that these dolls have been attached to bamboo stakes. Just why? Materials for an evil spirit? Dolls that contain curses? Haunted toys? Or just a sick prank? What makes this situation more terrifying is that the swamp already has a reputation for being haunted. According to the locals, the massive bog is the home of several terrifying creatures that create weird and strange noises during the night. The person or entity behind the dolls was never discovered, but thankfully no curse has been inflicted on the locals living near the swamp. Number 10. Bull Shark Some people like taking a dip in fresh water, and one of the usual reasons is that there are no sharks in rivers and lakes. If you haven't heard of the bull shark yet, then oh boy do I have some news for you. This is the bull shark, and they are one of the deadliest monsters lurking in the river. Yes, these highly aggressive creatures have the capability of traveling in fresh water, and they can also go into the ocean too. Just like an actual bull, the bull shark can weigh up to a staggering 1,000 pounds, and it can grow up to a staggering 13 feet. They're pretty much located all over the world. These sharks can live in the Atlantic, and they can also be found from Massachusetts to southern Brazil and from Morocco to Angola. Although they prefer to stay in warm oceans, they can also swim in rivers, lakes, and streams that are deep enough. Bull sharks often consume bony fish, smaller sharks, and stingrays. They're known to be pretty moody and aggressive, too. This means if you come across them when they're in a testy mood, there's a huge possibility that they will attack. Number 9. Bog Butter how would you like to sample butter manufactured thousands of years ago? Does anyone want a free taste? This huge chunk of yellow-brown solid is an aged dairy discovered in a bog in Ireland. This chunk of butter is about 2,300 years old, and there's a huge chance that it's still edible. This means you can probably sample them if you want, if you can stomach their grossly pungent smell, that is. Aside from its age, bog butter is just like ordinary butter. It's cow's milk that was buried in a bog. Thousands of years ago, they didn't have the luxury of refrigerators. But this isn't the main reason why they put butter in bogs. They may sound unpleasant, but bogs are known to be the best places to preserve pretty much anything, from human bodies to butter. Bogs are known to maintain a cool temperature, and it's also low in oxygen and high in acidity. People back then saw bogs as gateways to the world of the gods so they drop butter and the occasional human tribute in these murky environments. There's also a huge chance that they simply hid butter and their food in bogs whenever they were being attacked by hostile forces. Because, hey, what better place to hide your food than a bog? Number 8. Mata Mata This bizarre-looking creature looks like it's out of this world. This is the Mata Mata turtle. This South American turtle is known for its distinct appearance. Its carapace or shell is rough, and its neck and head are covered with bumps and ridges. 
It also has a large flat head and an elongated snout. You may think they look terrifying, but they do have a cute side. Here, have a picture of this smiling Mata Mata. This is one of the reasons why some people take them in as exotic pets. Not only turtle enthusiasts are interested in them. You see, these creatures were called 14 different names over the years until they got their name today. Sadly, we aren't sure of the meaning of their names. There is a theory that their name means kill kill in Spanish, but this theory isn't verified. These turtles only grow up to 18 inches long, but they're pretty heavy for their size as they can be up to 33 pounds. Mata Mata turtles rarely bite, but when they do, it can be pretty painful. Most of them don't like to be handled or touched, so most turtle owners know that their Mata Mata turtles are the happiest when they're left alone. Number 7. Soviet Tank Who would have thought that a whole Soviet tank could stay hidden below a river's surface? In 2016, a Soviet T-34-76 tank was recovered from the Don River in southern Russia. The whole retrieval looks like a scene straight out of a movie, and the whole operation is spectated by curious onlookers. This 30-ton tank was used during the Second World War. This tank is produced at the Stalingrad factory, located in what is now the city of Volgograd. According to experts, all of the T-34 tanks were destroyed during World War II, which makes this tank one of a kind. You're probably wondering how this tank ended up on the riverbed. Two theories try to explain how this tank ended up in the river. According to the locals that live near the area, the tank was sunk by the Soviet troops to make sure that it would not get into the enemy's hands. However, the tank's armament is still intact, which contradicts this theory. The second theory is that the tank simply fell into the river as it was moving along a pontoon bridge. Now this is most likely the case, and the tank must have been lost in the summer of 1942. It may be covered in rust and mud, but it's still one of the intact remnants of the past war. Number 6. Goonch Catfish With its massive size and terrifying appearance, it's no wonder that a lot of people are scared of the Goonch Catfish. Also known as the Giant Devil Catfish and the Killer Catfish, the Goonch is a giant-sized fish native to the rivers of South Asia. According to experts, these creatures aren't aggressive, but they have a pretty unsettling record. A Goonch Catfish can grow up to 13 feet, but there are also unverified sightings of 20-foot Goonch Catfish. These creatures have scaleless bodies and big flattened heads, as well as three pairs of barbells. The Goonch Catfish isn't only enormous, but they are also carnivores and voracious eaters. They usually prey on smaller fish, crustaceans, and invertebrates that live near the riverbed. But they are also known to eat human corpses if they ever find one. With their sheer size, it's no wonder that they aren't afraid of attacking humans. The Goonch Catfish has another nickname that I didn't tell you about. They're also called man-eating catfish. Considering they can eat human remains, I guess the nickname is pretty accurate. There have been three attacks reported in India. The first attack happened in April 1998 when a 17-year-old man swam in the river and was dragged underwater by a Goonch Catfish right in front of his girlfriend and several other eyewitnesses. Three months after this incident, a man lost his young son in the very same river. The tragic and terrifying thing is that no bodies have ever been found. The final attack happened in 2007 when an 18-year-old man suddenly just disappeared in the river after a water pig dragged him down. There are no other verified attacks as of recently, but regardless, Gunch catfish are horrifying from their sheer size alone. Number 5. Scuba Spiders do you think you're safe from spiders when you're underwater? Think again. Who knows, while you're happily swimming, you might just encounter a spider swimming toward you. This is the eight-legged scuba diver, aka the scuba diving spider. This arachnid is unique because it can breathe underwater using an air bubble, just like its very own oxygen tank. It sounds pretty amazing, but if you have a fear of spiders, these creatures are bad news. Fret not, because they're the only spiders known to survive underwater. And they're not too bad, considering the very deadly spiders you find on land. The bite of the scuba spider can also be pretty painful though. Their bites are known to cause vomiting and slight feverishness that can last for several days. And now it's time for today's topic. What they captured in the river shocked the whole world. I mean, just look at this. Remember the swamp monster I showed you earlier? Well, this looks very much like it but this appears more human-like. I don't know why swamps and rivers have a bad reputation, 
But perhaps it's because of these sightings that people get the notion that they are spooky, scary places. This creature can be another sculpture or a prop placed by someone that wanted to creep others out. But there's also a chance that this is a monster emerging from the water. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Group Movement What's more revolting than one larva? A procession of multiple larva. This huge crawling glob isn't just one creature. It's made up of hundreds of creepy crawlies. Some people might mistake this crawling parade as a snake from afar, but surely they'll be more horrified upon learning that it's a group of larvae moving together. We don't know why these tiny demons, I mean larvae, group up with each other. They are perfectly capable of traveling separately, but for some reason they choose to form this horrifying group that will surely make any unsuspecting passers-by jump back in disgust. According to researchers, these larvae groups are common in dark-winged fungus gnat larvae, they're known to move in a snake-like mass where they crawl all over each other. But why exactly do they do this? Aside from looking bigger, the larva can move 1.5 times quicker in this formation compared to moving individually. Number 3. Radioactive River The Techa is a river found in Russia. There are no terrifying creatures in this river. Instead, the whole river is filled with radioactive waste. From 1949 to 1956, a Russian nuclear facility accidentally and later on intentionally filled the Techa River with harmful radioactive waste. It wasn't long before the pristine river became one of the world's most dangerous and toxic dumping grounds. About 28,000 residents lived near the river before it became polluted. Most of them relied on the Techa River for their water supply. But after the contamination, they needed to evacuate the area. What's more devastating is that several of the locals have reported being exposed to 20 times the radiation suffered by some of the Chernobyl disaster victims. Decades later, the locals around the area are still paying the price for the massive amount of radioactive wastes dumped in the river. The story of the Techa River might be horrifying, but it's also a tragic story that shows us the consequences of some of our actions. Number 2. Sinking House if you ever find yourself along the river of Loire for the first time, you might be surprised upon seeing a massive house submerged in the river. You might be horrified and think that there are people stuck inside. The house looks like it will topple over at any moment as the whole structure tilts downward. You don't need to worry though, because this is just a replica of an inn that was formerly located in the nearby town of La Vaux sur loire It was first presented in 2007 at the Estuaire Art Exhibition. The artist didn't intend to place the house in an awkward and sad position, but the rapid water of the river sent it sailing, and half of the structure also became submerged. As a result, the sinking house stayed in the middle of the river, with its windows open, giving the illusion that it was a house affected by a catastrophic flood. Number 1. Egtfo Girl Seeing a piece of wood in bogs is pretty common, and there's a huge chance that the wood came from an ancient tree that existed thousands of years ago. But when this piece of wood was found in 1921, they also discovered the remains of a girl. This is the iconic Bronze Age girl, known as the Egfa girl, named after the village she was found. This girl was allegedly buried about 3,400 years ago. But thanks to the bog, her clothing, hair, nails, and some of her teeth have been wonderfully preserved. It's horrifying to discover a piece of wood, only to realize that it's a makeshift coffin with a body still inside. This girl was found in a large mound of peat. According to researchers, the teenager was between 16 to 18 years old when she died. Thanks to the bog, her clothes have been preserved, and many modern researchers commended her fashion style. She wore a wool skirt with a large bronze disc belt with some spirals on it. But the Egdva girl was no ordinary teenager when she was alive. Judging from her clothing, she might have been a priestess of a cult. Despite the initial shock she gave to the people who discovered her, the Egtfa girl sparked a new fashion trend after a few ladies copied her style to try and imitate the fashion during the Bronze Age. What's more mind-boggling is that in spite of being found in Denmark, the girl most likely came from near the Black Forest in Germany. Thanks to modern science, researchers were able to analyze atoms of the wool skirt. I won't explain the nitty-gritty, but the material in her clothes suggests that she was a traveler that sadly perished in a foreign land. Which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? 
And do you know any other bizarre things recently found in rivers or swamps? Share your story in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.